morning, people. This is the start of our beautiful Wednesday. Yeah. That is Turgy. That's his truck. And we're sitting in the parking lot of a church. So we're, we're, we're meeting with Jesus. <clears throat> but he's having to get his car towed because it decided it wanted to act up on him. So this is what is going on with us this morning. How about your morning? How is it treating you? <sighs> crazy, y'all. Crazy. But, you know, again, what, my, what is my motto? It could be worse. It could be worse. It could be so much worse. So, um, yeah. He's got his car. Um going to the shop we have no clue what is wrong with it he he has no clue what's wrong with it but um he's having to kick out money so that we could get it towed get it to the shop to get it worked on and in the meantime i'm in a rental i'm in a rental from where <laughs> i'm in a rental from where um t hit one of the yellow poles at um a gas station he didn't he didn't see it he didn't see it and it's he's still torn up about it to pieces because he just can't believe that that happened and happened to him so and it could it could happen to any of us you know so thank god we had full coverage insurance on it you know so that we can get it worked on so my car is in the process of being patched up as well so therefore i'm in a rental and then they put me in a small car when I have a mid-size SUV um, to, to fit my family. And that's a whole nother story. So we're going to have to go by to the rental place today because they should have called me by now to let me know that my, you know, so I can pick up a bigger car. They didn't. So, yeah. Now we are in the doctor's office. There's hubs. There's the boy. So. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the doctor's office. <laughs> I got my monster drink. I've been sipping on that for a minute. So that we are on. He's here for just a check with the doc and have conversations and whatnot. Hubby is, oh, Hubby found out what was wrong with his truck good thing he said it was here i'll let him tell you it was the coil on the number four spark plug went bad so we're gonna replace all that out and hopefully she'll get back to ticking here later on yeah <laughs> we're so done from there. we had no idea what it was gonna run us what it was gonna cost us or anything so i think at the end of the day that $1, eight eighteen hundred dollars he didn't like that color you don't like the blue no um, he um, at the end of the day God still saved us so that's why I said you know we could go and complain about it whining ain't gonna get you nowhere just look at your situation and then look at somebody else's situation and then compare yourself to that and see if you're really in the bond you know it could be so much worse so I'm just thankful that everything turned out the way that it did and that still at the end of the day you know it was it was still a blessing there so um after here we gotta go turn the car in that i currently have i don't know if i told you guys that but the car that i currently have they're supposed to give us one to match what i actually have so we're going to go turn that in so that we can get a bigger one um to fit all of us and the one that i'm actually in right now can actually fit all of us but it is still a little uncomfortable especially when we all ride together because literally you guys i'll show you when we get in the car my husband's knees is on the dashboard it's like crazy but you know um and we're in a um toyota camry and it's just not ideal and then like in the back seat to me like if my husband's in the passenger seat which he is and then zavin is in the back seat my husband is actually sitting in zavin's lap that I means it's just really it's just not it's just small to me so i'm going to turn that in and get what we were supposed to get and then we're probably going to get some dinner or something and then we're going to go home how are you feeling mm -hmm. It's been a rough day, rough 24 hours. Has it really been rough or do you rough. just feel like it's rough? Uh, 
It could be better, but I, I'm I'm grateful. Okay. I, ever since I got out of the hospital, I tell you, I, I mean, I might have bad days, but I mean, I'm grateful. To, even to be here to talk to you, you, you got to cut up with these two. Yeah. So, it's just one of them things. It happens. Yeah, it does. Yeah. How are you feeling back there, Mr. Narto? What? How are you feeling what? back there? Look at his Mitch Matt socks, you guys. Like, I don't understand. I'm wearing two different anime characters. Why? Man. Why? Because Explain to them why. Because I want to. Because then it's cool. Mm. He got these socks for his birthday. And I looked up and found them. Because he is a big him fan. Not a fan. And um, I looked up and found them. I'm a fan these. of him, but I'm more of a fan of the show. Of the shoe? The show. Oh, the show. So, um, See, yeah, he has like, this on. See, like, you don't know the character. But and then he has costume. on his hoodie or whatever. Not at all. Come in. Yeah, and I, and I was just saying because that's not my favorite character in the anime. My favorite character is name is Kakashi. Okay. Well, anyway, Kakashi you guys, he got those socks. He got socks. He got six pair of socks for his birthday. He got those shoes that he got on for his birthday. He bought... Or did Daddy buy that hoodie? You bought that hoodie? Daddy, Daddy brought that hoodie for him. And um, but he's he's really into this. This is a this is the thing that he's into right now. So yeah. That's I that's still understand why he did the Mitch Matt socks, but okay. Yeah. To each his own, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Actually no, I don't think no Shikamaru. You don't know who he is, but Sh Shikamaru is not actually my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's just about all we got going on right now. Uh, T's looking up trucks. Or are you still looking up trucks or are you just scrolling the web? Trying to find a truck. <laughs> He's looking up trucks. His truck is ready. Yay. So he can actually go and get his truck um today. Um and then we'll go and switch the other one up. All right, you guys, so we got the car switched. Um, T and Zayvon are actually inside the bank right now. So we got the car switched. This is my first time ever being in one of these cars, but it is a Jeep Cherokee 2020. And um, it's really nice. Like, it's, um, it's really nice. I can't complain about it. The only thing that I don't really like about it is, um, Turgy told me that it's like, a, uh, I guess, a hybrid. So like when you're sitting just sitting still and the i guess it switches over from electric to gas i don't know but i don't like the way that it kind of like you can feel i can feel or i can tell that something's like going on or whatever it's not really um anything bad it's just something that i'm not used to so um but it's a pretty it's a pretty good decent sized car like it has a lot of room back there so you got enough room like mine is a seven passenger so this is not a seven passenger this is more of a five passenger cars but um it's it's nice you know like um i don't think i'm gonna do a car tour or anything like that because i really don't know much about these but it has like a lot of nice um yeah well, how do you even open that a lot of nice compartments or whatever so um yeah, it's, it's high. What's up, y'all? It's been a minute, and I think I say that every time I get on here to do a video. I'm like, mm, it's been a minute, and I, that's something that y'all probably are already used to. So sorry if it has been a minute. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm in a different environment. I am in my, um, my little ride-around car, my little chick car. I'm in my bug. And um, I'm just out, just running errands right now. Um, let me try to get out of here without hitting anything. And then just kind of tell you guys how I feel about the car, if I like it or not. Um, I love this car. <laughs> I absolutely love this car. Like, it couldn't have came at a better time it couldn't have been the most perfect car because I have been wanting a bug for a for a while and um, I finally got one my husband 
teetotally, you know, surprised me with getting one and it was awesome that he just thought of me and wanted to do something for me and I love it. I love everything about this car. It's so convenient. It is really my push and scoop and I call it a push and scoop because it's so tiny. It looks like it can fit in your pocket. I'm not lying. Like when I come up to this car, when I see it even pulled into parking spots or parking spaces, I'm just like, it's just the cutest little car and I, I'm, I love everything about it. You know, it's a 2004 and um, I didn't get like a brand, brand new model. Um, it, that don't even matter to me. The color wise that I was looking at, you know, like I had like three top choices. I wanted a convertible. I've never had a convertible before. I have had a, um, try to get you guys centered good. I have had a sunroof, but I've never had a convertible. And I was just like, you can't get a Beetle without it being convertible. There's no way. Like, I don't want to ride around in just like a little old Beetle. My Beetle has to make a statement. Like, I have to have a convertible. It's just, it just has to. It has its original, well, it's not the original wheels, but the Volkswagen wheels on here. I'm not going to be that type of chick to go and get some lashes to put on here, but you guys know that it will have some Hello Kitty in it. I have an old Hello Kitty um, steering wheel cover, and I'm going to put that on there. I've already saw the stickers that I want to put on the back. Like, I am so super stoked about it. I'll just get some stuff to get that off. But you guys, I have a, I have a bug. I have a bug. It is the cutest car. I love it. Um, hopefully, I have done a car tour. If I have not, I will do one. Um, try to add it in somewhere in here. But I love it. I love this car. It is just perfect for me. It's perfect for me if I'm taking Zay to, to school. It's just perfect for me. You know, it's something that I can say, this is my chick car. And it, my chick car didn't have to be, I, I didn't care for it to be an upgraded car like a, a Benz or a Mercedes or a um, Audi or Range or anything. It just, I didn't, I wasn't looking for anything over the top and expensive like that I just really wanted what I have which is my little push and scoop you guys so the quality on this is really like not all that great either because you can see like as you can see my like the that I have a lot of window I don't have window really in the back but have a lot of light in here which is a good thing but it sometimes can be overpowering too so my my plan is is for me to put a video up every Monday and every Wednesday and make my filming days on Saturdays. <sighs> it's what I'm hoping because right now with us going back to work, because Tia's already went back to work and then I'm going back to work, the content, well, the, the daily vlogging is going to slow down because we both work eight, nine to five jobs, so I work from eight until five and he works from six until three so he may be able to get some content for you guys after he get off work or on his way home just to show you what he does but most of the time hubby doesn't have the camera in hand so um yeah that might be a struggle for him but we'll see anyway you guys we'll see i'm gonna focus on the road and when i get to a moment to where i can pick up my other camera and have a better vlog view then that's what I'll do